Hey everyone, this is Tracy Stetter with Discovery Tech, and this week on the website I have another wide angle for you. This one is about wearable computing and body sensor networks. Here's what I have in store for you. So wearable computing comes in all sizes, shapes, and colors. Um, it basically consists of network sensors that are mounted on or implanted in a living person or being. The sensors collect data from the body, the surrounding environment, and send it wirelessly to other devices for processing. For example, you could put sensors inside a helmet and when the player is out in the field knocking his head around, the sensors could pick up information that could tell whether or not he may have suffered a concussion. So check out the video on that one. We have a couple of news stories, one about how sensors embedded into a jacket lets the wearer feel sensations that are being displayed in a movie, and also how an exoskeleton is being used to help so soldiers out in the field. Lauren Efron has a puzzle for us this week that demonstrates all of the flexible electronics that are needed to make electronic textiles possible. We have a top 10 that talks about the ways body sensor networks are being used to improve people's lives. And we have a blog from Alyssa Dana Gellis about how asthma inhalers are being equipped with GPS devices and other sensors to track air quality problems in a city. Clark Boyd has a podcast for us about a research project that's trying to use ubiquitous computing and sensors to improve ambient lighting conditions for elderly people. So okay, you can find that wide angle and a lot of other wide angles by visiting technology.discovery.com. And you can send me an email at discoverytech at discovery.com. I'll see you next week.